Oh, fish on, guys. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, so we are fishing the evening, and we are currently at the, the Delta Mendota Canal. And, uh, yeah, we're fishing right here by the gates. One cool thing is that the gates are not open. So we, we tend to catch more fish when the gates are closed like this. And only uh, the water is coming through that side. All right, so she's going to start off with a dual Realis 130. And we're going to catch some stripers. Stay tuned. I'm going to fish with a dual Realis 120. We're going to do a bet. First person to catch a fish doesn't have to drive home. The water line's hecka low. So I'm fishing with a uh, fluke and a jig head now. Fishing the bottom. Swap back to a dual realis, but different color. All right, let's go and try a new spot. Definitely saw something chasing fish right here. That's why I don't spook them. So we're at the California Aqueduct now, and the gates are closed as of right now. And the water line seems pretty low. Let's see if we catch anything. I feel like the fish are going to be on this side of the gates today because it's windy. This side of the gates. I don't really have any confidence in fishing this side right now. The water line dropped by, the water dropped like four feet, huh? Since the last time the gates were open. Fishing on the front side of the gates. She almost hit me with a big lure. She didn't catch a fish right here, watch. All right, one more cast and we'll go to the new spot. This spot's a little sketchy. No, like where I'm standing. Oh. Like I, I don't feel right standing here. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we made it to a new spot on the aqueduct and we're gonna fish this windblown bank. As you can see the curve right here, it's pretty windy. Hopefully there's some fish in this area. <laughs> we're just going to comb it. So we're going to work our way up there with jerk baits. Jerk baits are a great lure to work really fast. Great bait to, uh, great lure to find fish. That's why it's my confident, confidence lure. That's why I fish it all the time. Because I know it, it will work about 90% of the time. You know what, for the most part, the last few months when I was catching stripers out of the aqueduct, I was just catching keepers. So if I catch anything out of this today, I just assume it's going to be a keeper. But I've caught a lot of shorts though in the, in the beginning of the year at the aqueduct. 
Caught some 17s, some 16s. I haven't caught a really small one out of that. What a like a 13 or something. Nothing under, nothing under like a 16. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna delete my account. Oh, fish on, guys! <laughs> Hell yeah, guys! That looks like a keeper. Hell yeah! Finally! Woo. Let's go, baby! Let's go! I told you guys! This curve right here. Woo. Yes, sir! That's a keeper. Look at that lure. He freaking choked it. Look at that. It's all the way in there. Look at this thing. All the hooks are in there. He really wanted it. What do you think it is? 23. I think it's a 22. All right, so let's measure him out. See how long he is. So from lip to tail, he's about 20. About 20, yep, 20 inches. Hell yeah. High five. Yay! Man, after I caught that fish, we saw some look like boils, but it wasn't. I think it was stripers though. If you guys know how much of a struggle it's been for me, that's why I haven't been uploading every Wednesday. Just haven't been catching fish. But I was uh, thinking there was gonna be some fish right here in this curve. Because the wind is blowing. Most of the bait fish will probably be over here as well. But yeah, we saw some ripples. Right after we caught my uh, my fish. See, I, I when I caught that fish, I just kind of like automatically thought to myself, it's a keeper. Just because I've been catching keepers the last couple of months or last few months. If you guys are interested in what I'm fishing with, I'll link it down below. It's just a seven foot medium heavy Abu Garcia Vengeance Rod, 15 pound monofilament uh, by P Line, a Silver Max, which I don't recommend. I just got it for cheap, but it works for now. All right, guys, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to fish at a topwater. Let's see if we uh, get lucky or not. I haven't caught a topwater fish this whole, this whole year. All right, so I got my spook tied on. I don't have a braided line. Fishing with the 15-pound monofilament. Yep, super spook on my Shimano Corrado 200E7 original OG. On my uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass, seven foot, medium heavy. Let's see if they're uh, willing to eat top water today. All righty, back to the jerk bait. Yeah, I think once the uh, wind died down, the fish are gone. All right, we're going to go back to the Delta Mendota Canal, if no one's fishing there. All right, guys, I said I was going to go fish the uh, Delta Mendota Canal, but we just drove by a whole bunch of people. So we decided to call it a day. Caught one keeper. It was worth it to me. I haven't caught a keeper in like, a while. like three, four weeks now, something like that. But yeah. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm sure we're gonna catch plenty of stripers this year. Uh, there's still a lot of time left. If not, we'll probably go trout fishing, our favorite. <laughs> it's not my favorite. But yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.